In this lecture, let's go ahead and let's create our very first React project. Now, before creating a React project, there are some tools which we need to create and run a React app. And the first thing which we need to do is, we need to install the latest version of Node.js. Node.js is a runtime environment for executing JavaScript code outside of the browser environment. Now, in this course, we are not going to work with Node.js, but Node.js provides some tools that we need to build and develop React projects. So if you have not already installed Node.js, then head over to nodejs.org. And from here, you need to install the latest version of Node.js for your operating system. The operating system will be picked automatically. So here I am using Windows. So you can see that the operating system has been picked automatically by Node.js site. Here you can see two versions of Node.js. The first one is the long-term support version, which is Node.js 16. And the second one is the current version of Node.js, which is Node.js 18. So from here, you can download the long-term support version of Node.js and that should be enough to go along with this course. I have already installed Node.js in my machine, so I'm not going to download and install Node.js again. But what you can do is, you can click on this button and it will download an installer. Double click on that installer when it is downloaded and follow the installation steps. Here, installation steps are very simple, so you should be able to install Node.js for your machine. Once Node.js is successfully downloaded and installed on your machine, to check if the Node.js is installed on your machine or not, open command prompt in Windows or terminal in Mac in administrator mode. So since I am using Windows, I will open command prompt for that. In the search bar, type cmd, right click and open it in administrator mode. And here type this command, node-version. So if Node.js is successfully installed on your machine, it will show you the version of Node.js which has been installed. So when I press enter, you will notice that it is showing me the version of the Node.js which is installed on my machine. But if you see any error here, that means Node.js is not properly installed on your machine. So what you can do is, you can try reinstalling Node.js. Once Node.js is installed on your machine, you are good to go and create a new React app. To create a new React app or a new React project, we need a tool called Create React App. You can simply Google for this Create React App tool. For that, let's open browser and here let's search for Create React App. And if you scroll down, here we have the GitHub repository for this tool. Click on that and it will take us to the GitHub repository. So here, you will find more information about this Create React App tool. You can also visit this link createreactapp.dev for full documentation. Okay. Now, this Create React App, this is a tool which you can use to create React projects. The React project created using this Create React App tool, it includes a bunch of pre-configured files and folders with some basic React code files and most importantly, it also contains a bunch of configuration files which help you build the React app for production use. Because there will be a couple of transformation and optimization steps involved between developing a React app and running it in the production. And we will talk about it in great detail in later session. In addition, the project which gets created with Create React App tool will give you a nice development environment with a development web server which allows you to preview the application locally on your machine. And whenever there is a change in the project, the browser will automatically update the changes in the preview. And that's why we use a tool like Create React App because it simplifies the development process and it also helps optimize our React code before we push it to the production server. So let's go ahead and let's create a new React project using Create React App tool. Again, go to command prompt in Windows or terminal in Mac OS. Now here, the first thing which we need to do is, we need to move to the folder where we want to create our React project. In my case, I want to create a new React project in C drive and there I will create a new folder. I will call it React Course. And inside this folder, I want to create my React project. So let's copy the path of this folder. Let's go to command prompt and here let's use this cd command to change the directory. So we want to move to c colon react course folder. Press enter and now we are in the react course folder. And inside this folder we want to create our react project. 
And to create a React project, we have a command npx and then we are going to use create react app tool. For that we can type create hyphen react hyphen app and then we can specify a name for the project. Let's call this project complete react course. Okay, and to use this tool to run this command, we need Node.js installed in our machine. And that's why we installed Node.js first. So now if I press enter, it should create a new project with this name at this location, C drive react courses. But before that, it is going to install this create react app package because we need this package, this tool for creating a new react project, right? So here you can type Y and press enter. All right, so here the project is created and you can see this success message. So it says created this complete React course project at C drive React course folder. Let's go to this folder. And here you will notice a folder with the project name has been created. If I go inside this folder here, we have a bunch of files and folders. Now let's go ahead and let's run this project in the browser. For that, again, let's go back to command prompt in Windows or terminal in Mac. And here, in order to run this project in the browser in the live development server, first we need to move to the project folder. For that, again, let's use this cd command and the project folder name is complete-react-course. Let's press enter and now we are in the project folder. And to start the live development server and to run this project in that live development server, we need to type npm start command. And you will notice that it has opened that project in the browser. So this is how our current React project looks like. Now we are going to modify this project and design it according to our needs from our next lecture. Alright, so our very first React project is created and it is running in the live development server at this local host port number 3000. Now to work with this React project, we also need a code editor. And for the code editor, I am going to use Visual Studio Code. You can choose a code editor of your choice. But if you want to follow along with me, then you can also download and install VS Code in your machine. To download VS Code, head over to code.visualstudio.com and from here, you can download VS Code for your machine. The operating system will be automatically selected, but you can also select it from this drop down. And then you can click on this download button to start downloading VS Code. Once VS Code is downloaded, you can double click on the installer and follow the installation steps to install VS Code in your machine. Again, the installation steps are very simple. Once VS Code is downloaded, open VS Code by typing it in the search bar and open it. So it has opened Visual Studio Code. Now to open the React project, you can go to File, Open Folder. Then go to the location where you have saved your project. So in my case, it is in C drive, react course, and this folder. This is the project folder. Select this folder and click on this select folder button. It will open that project in VS code. Now this project has two main files. The first file is this package.json file. And in this file, all the dependencies of our project has been mentioned. And the another important folder is this source folder. And it is this source folder inside which you're going to write the actual code of your React application. Okay, so as a developer, you will be mostly working inside this source folder. In the next lecture, let's do some modification in this React project to understand how a React application works.